Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on David's show. So we start calling this season two or something? Anyway, in today's episode, I'll be talking about the brand new Insomniac's Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5. This is especially funny though, because of a comment I made on a video relating to the original game, where I guessed basically every villain, they being Sandman, Mysterio, Wenham, and Lizard. But I was incorrect about Green Goblin. But I think they're setting up for the third installment. But add Craven to this, and I had almost everything correctly guessed. So anyway, let's get into the review, starting with the gameplay. The gameplay seemed to me that it was similar to the first game and the Miles Morales game, but largely improved in aspects of speed and scope. Swinging around the city, air tricks are slicker, and swinging can add things such as loop-de-loop -loop and around a corner, which makes it better and faster. Along with that, it adds web wings, which you can glide and also glide into wind tunnels, gaining even more speed. As well as that, the city was made larger, adding Queens and Brooklyn to the mix with the waters, bridges, and Coney Island. And wow, it's a fucking wonder to see you with two eyes and to swing around in. The combat was something that was changed a bit, adding a parry system, which admittedly, I was still getting the hang off. I even uh, had to go to the friendly neighborhood mode for the <laughs> final boss battle. <laughs> yeah, so I was still getting the hang of it, but it's sort of cool. Upping the challenge a bit, uh, making you think more strategically, and also now you can't heal automatically when you have some of the focus bar field. It has to be entirely full, and you can either heal or do a takedown. At this, you only have four gadgets to choose between. And the new ability thing where you can either, as Peter, use symbiote powers or the iron legs. I think this all makes the combat more fun and strategic, but more difficult. So the speed at which you load into the game, by the way, is also incredible. And might I say, the boss battles were vastly improved too, with two to three stages often, and added health bar to the villain you fight. It makes it easier to know where you're at, and it gives more action to the boss battles. Take for the lizard battle, it comes in multiple stages, and you may complete one health bar, and then you go on a huge ass chase around the city, so it makes it more fun, you may grow larger from the next sequence and blah blah blah. So the story follows Peter and Miles learning through fighting and saving Sandman about Kraven the Hunter, who has set his sights on New York as a new hunting ground. Peter rekindles a relationship with Harry Osborn as he is revived thanks to the symbiote. Peter starts getting busy and ignores Miles while Miles himself is on a revenge mission on Mr. Negative. This all turns around too when Peter gains a symbiote after nearly dying from Craven stabbing him. The symbiote transfers to Peter, making him more aggressive and evil. Now, he wanted to save Harry and get the symbiote off of him, but Craven has made the only one who can save them both. Dr. Kurt Connors turned into the lizard, which gives a fun mid-sequence to the game. After this, Miles battles Peter and rids him of the symbiote, which transfers to Harry, who becomes Venom, and it ends in a huge boss battle that I love. Sadly, Harry is left in critical condition, and Peter and Miles continue spider maning while Peter takes a break. We then see Norman Osborn say, bring out the G serum, with Doc Ock to try and find out the secret identities of both Spider-Man for ruining his son, and Miles gets introduced to Cindy Moon. I like the plot, but I think if there weren't so many characters woven and more time given to each it would have been a little better. But everything flows smooth as butter, and the plot is something I like, and nice setups too. I mean, we're probably getting Green Goblin for the third game, so imagine that. And they also set up characters such as Carnage in the side mission. It's gonna be very fun. So my review of Spider-Man 2 is, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It's easily my favorite video game of all time, with good plot, fun boss battles, fun side missions, and great open world gameplay as well as combat and traversal. If you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, click the bell for notifications and all that, and I'll see you on another episode on David's show.